HVI's PFT series are durable high pots used for high voltage AC withstand testing on electrical apparatus. Common devices under test, or DUTs, include vacuum interrupters, hot sticks, rubber gloves, motors, generators, switch gear, circuit breakers, and other loads that require regular withstand testing. The PFT series combines the convenience of a small, lightweight, and economical device with the higher power ratings and enhanced features that in-field use often demands. HVI is proud to offer the only single-piece testing unit on the market that provides continuously adjustable voltage up to 50 kV, rated up to 3 kVA. The PFT series high pots all feature continuously adjustable voltage, zero start and external interlock safety provisions, and transit protected meters designed for the rigors of infield use. Select models also feature capacitive current compensation, lowering the power input required for the device. The PFT series are HVI's most popular line of equipment and used worldwide. In this video, we'll be reviewing the control and display features of the PFT series, getting set up for a test, testing with a grounded return, testing with a guarded return, an explanation of how these return modes differ and what happens during test failures, control and display features. The main power switch for the PFT series high pots is located in the bottom of the panel. When turned on, the display light will illuminate in red. PFT series high pots have high voltage circuit on and off LED indicators. When the device has the main power turned on, but the high voltage circuit is not energized, the display light for off will illuminate in green, meaning safe. When safety conditions are met, the high voltage circuit can be turned on, which will illuminate the on display light in red, meaning caution. The PFT series high pots have two main meter displays, a voltmeter and a current meter, each with their own range switch. The voltmeter is located in the top right of the panel. When the high voltage circuit is energized and activated, it displays the voltage level. The meter has two display ranges, which are controlled by the voltmeter range switch, directly to the right of the voltmeter. When the switch is set to low range, for voltages up to 25 kV, the voltage is read from the bottom scale. When the switch is set to high range, for voltages from 25 to 50 kV, the voltage is read from the top scale. The current meter is located in the middle left of the top panel. When voltage is applied in a testing situation, the current meter displays the level of secondary load current being drawn by the device under test, or DUT. The current meter has three display ranges, which are controlled by the current meter range switch. The current meter displays values between 0 and 1, and the current level is read by which range the switch is set to. When the switch is set to the times 1 scale, the meter can display currents from 0 to 1 mA. When the switch is set to the times 10 scale, the meter can display current from 0 to 10 mA. When the switch is set to the times 100 scale, the meter can display current from 0 to 100 mA. The PFT series high pots have three lead connections, one for ground, one for load return, and a high voltage out. The ground connection is located in the middle right of the panel. The ground connection is an important safety element and is used to properly ground the entire device. The load return connection is located in the middle left of the panel and is used to return any current from the DUT through the current meter. The PFT series high pots have two return modes, which are controlled by the return mode switch located in the middle of the panel. When the device is set to ground position, the current running through the ground lead and return lead will display in the current meter. When the device is set to guard position, the current going to ground is shunted around the current meter and only the current through the load return lead is displayed. PFT series high pots have an output dial located in the middle right of the top panel. When safety conditions are met and the high voltage circuit is energized, the output dial will control the amount of voltage being applied to the DUT. 
The output dial also functions as a zero start interlock, one of two safety features for the device. The output dial must be at zero to energize the high voltage circuit. With a zero start interlock, the high voltage circuit cannot be energized unless the level of voltage is initially dialed down to zero. The PFT series high pots also have an external interlock, the second of the two safety features for the device. The external interlock is located in the middle bottom of the top panel, immediately below the return mode switch. When the interlock key is not secured into the external interlock, the high voltage circuit will not function by design, even if the output dial is set to zero. The interlock key is compatible with different manually operated switches, such as thumb switches or foot pedals. These optional accessories allow the external interlock to function as a dead man switch. Only when the switch or pedal is actively depressed will the high voltage circuit function. The moment the switch or pedal is no longer depressed, the high voltage circuit will turn off. Getting set up. Move the PFT series high pot to a location that allows for an easy view of display meters and a safe distance away from the DUT. Make sure you are wearing personal protection equipment or PPE. Make sure the device controls are off and all dials are set back fully to counterclockwise positions. Follow all local safety regulations and practices in your workplace. Connect the ground test lead to the right side of the panel on the ground post. The other end of the ground test lead has a black booted alligator clip. Ground the PFT series device to a solid earth ground with the alligator clip. The load return lead also has a black booted alligator clip. Connect it to the low side of the DUT. Return the low side of the DUT to the load return post by attaching the load return lead. Make note of how the return mode switch is set. See the guard ground explanation for which return mode is appropriate for different settings. The high voltage lead has a red booted and larger alligator clip. Secure the high voltage lead to the high side of the DUT, making sure that there is enough clearance to grounded objects for the intended test voltage. Ensure the external interlock key is in place. Please note, the high voltage circuit cannot be energized without the external interlock in place. Unravel the power cable. Plug in the input power cable into a grounded power supply. Select the voltmeter range for the intended test voltage. Testing with a grounded return. Once set up, double check that the voltage output setting is in zero position and that the interlock key is secured in the external interlock. Check that the ground lead is securely connected to a grounding element. Check that the return lead is connected to the low side of the DUT and that the high voltage output cable is connected to the high side. Check that the return mode switch is set to ground position. Check that the voltmeter is at the lowest range setting. Check that the current meter is at the highest range setting. Turn on the main power button. When the device is initially powered, the main power light will illuminate red. The PFT series device will indicate the high voltage circuit is currently off by illuminating high voltage circuit LED in green. Make sure the voltage output is dialed to zero. When the voltage output is set to zero and the external interlock is in place, press the high voltage circuit on button. The high voltage circuit is now energized. Once the high voltage circuit is energized, slowly turn the voltage output clockwise to increase the supplied voltage. The voltmeter will now display the voltage. Raise the voltage to the intended amount for the DOT. Now note the amount of current that's displayed in the current meter. If the current meter display doesn't move much, switch to a lower range for optimal readability to times 10 or times 1. When the meter display settles between 0 and 1, measure the amount of current as indicated by the meter. Testing with a guarded return. For certain tests, you may want to measure withstand capabilities by measuring only the current that flows through the return lead and not any of the current going through the ground lead. For tests such as these, follow all the basic setup and safety checks you would for a test with grounded return. 
Double check that the voltage output setting is in zero position and that the interlock key is secured in the external interlock. Check that the ground lead is securely connected to a grounding element. Check that the return lead is connected to the low side of the DUT and that the high voltage output cable is connected to the high side. Check that the voltage meter is set to the lowest range and that the current meter is set to the highest range. Now, switch the return mode switch to the guard position. Now, repeat the steps as you would for a test in grounded return. Turn on the main power button. With the external interlock in place and the voltage output at zero, press the high voltage circuit on button. Raise the voltage with the output dial to the intended test voltage. Read the current displayed in the current meter using the current meter display range switch as needed. Grounded versus guarded returns. The use of guarded return feature allows for very accurate current measurements. When in grounded return, the current meter will read all current to ground, internal and external to the test set. This current might include corona, surface tracking and shunt resistance. The typical diagram for grounded return operation is shown in diagram one. When the output return is set to guarded mode, the current meter will only read current through the DUT. The DUT must be isolated from ground on the low side, as shown in diagram two. Note that the current to ground is returned after the meter. About test failures. The PFT series high pots feature an internal overload relay as one final safety feature. The relay is found in the primary circuit and is sensitive to primary current overloads. The overload is set to 120% of the rated output. Anything beyond the overload limit and the relay will power down the high voltage circuit to protect the device and personnel. For further resources and reading, please refer to our user manual. Thank you for choosing HVI and our three generations of engineering excellence.